artsy and graceful details <laughs> are coming up next. My legs weren't moving <laughs> at first. In fact, I've always feared it until I met tonight's Ramona's kids. They're a precision skating team that knows the meaning of teamwork. Their timing has to be perfect. The moves are swift and the kicks high and uniform. These are the Riverettes, a precision ice skating team in Rocky River. Now I'm going to join them, but we'll come back after I get my confidence up. The group consists of two teams, the juveniles, which are the younger girls, and the intermediates. They all range in ages 8 to 17, and they're learning a lot more than just skating. Teamwork. A lot of teamwork, because you can't do precision as an individual. You really have togetherness with the team. You make a lot of friends, and it's more fun to be competing with a lot of people with you. The girls were starting to put pressure on me, but I still wasn't ready to try something I'd never done before. But some of these young ladies have skated for years. In fact, the Riverettes have been around for about 10 years. Two weeks ago, they competed in the Midwestern sectionals, where they took the gold and silver medals but they've won numerous competitions. You get very nervous because all the teams, you feel like you don't know what you're gonna do and, you f and then all of a sudden you just kind of forget what to do and you get confused a lot. But it's fun? <laughs> yeah, because you get to stay in a hotel and you don't really go to bed that, that early. So. It's just like roller skating without you. I'm doing it. <laughs> Could you believe they had old stiff legs moving? We'll come back after my crash course in skating. Now, in case you didn't notice, there is a boy on the team. What's it like being surrounded by all those girls? It's great. <laughs> Why is it great? Uh, they're all over me. <laughs> and now for the moment I had not been waiting for. But I'll do just about anything for my Ramona's kids. Whoops. It didn't hurt. <laughs> that was good. I was so fearful that I would hurt myself. For your first time out, that was not bad. Now, is that regular speed uh, taper? Did they slow it down a little bit when you were no, doing the high the that's high That's regular speed. And Brandon was... When I began my crusade of sorts to showcase the commendable work of Northeast Ohio's good kids, my weekly Ramona's Kids segment on the 10 o'clock news has been challenging at times, a definite learning experience for me, but mostly it's been tremendous fun. Tonight I'd like you to join me in a tribute to some of Northeast Ohio's best and brightest, our kids making us proud. We begin tonight's special with something I'm truly proud of. Earlier this month, I hosted my very first Ramona's Kids Awards Luncheon. The luncheon was designed not only to recognize the outstanding achievements of more than 40 children featured in my weekly segments, but Channel 43 awarded Ramona's top 10 kids with $250 savings bonds. I just want to thank my parents and Ramona Robinson for giving me this opportunity to receive the award. I'd like to thank Warrenville Road Community Baptist Church for giving me the opportunity to help in that sports team. The money can be used in whatever career the youngsters choose after high school graduation. It was our way of saying we care about you today and tomorrow. I've estimated I must have over a thousand Ramona's kids out there. It was tough for our staff to narrow it down and decide which 10 would receive savings bonds. I'd like you to meet one of the 10. She's a youngster who's had to live with the cruel and frightening hand she was dealt. And Natalie Walker is definitely winning the game. Natalie has had some tough times. I think it's just great. You know, we were out We were so excited. We got on the phone. We were calling everybody. Guess what? My baby this and my baby that. So I think it's beautiful. I really do. It was exciting. Um, I was shocked because I was picked out of all them different kids. You may remember Natalie Walker. She's a foster teenager who was featured earlier this year as one of Ramona's kids. But May 10th, she received special honors as one of my top 10 kids. Natalie was selected because she's overcome a lot in her young life. As a foster child, she was bounced from several homes, never finding happiness or the love she so desperately craved. Until four years ago, when she found Beverly, her current foster mom. The way Natalie came into my life was 
she was with another foster mom and <clears throat> the foster mother was going away on a trip and they wanted someone to keep her while she was gone. And uh, of course I said yes. Natalie and Brandy, Beverly's daughter, hit it off right away. And she's been part of the family ever since. Even her grades have improved dramatically. A lot of self-esteem inside yourself, I mean, it's um, people.